LFC number 25 with the fourth new signing episode and it's going to be a quick one but I'm going to talk about Simon Mignoli it was the fourth signing I apologise I'm not sure how much it was for I think it was 10 to 12 million from Sunderland now my granddad's a Sunderland supporter maybe in the future episode I'll be able to get his thoughts on it but for now good old me um I think Mignolet is certainly interesting because before we before we bid a ten million for Mignolet, we were like, right, Valdez is staying at Bas for another year. Pepe is staying at Liverpool for another year. We might it's going to stay dull for another year. But then Mignolet, then we bidded for six million for Mignolet. Everyone's like, oh, what's going on here? What if we get Mignolet? What will happen? Will we sell Vena? Will it be like Lindegaard and De Gea? Who knows? Nobody knows at the minute, so we're going to see this season. I think Pepe's better. I know he had howlers recently, but I think Pepe's better. Mignolet! It's not a drastic move, is it? It's not as though he's going from England to Hong Kong, is it? He's just come to Liverpool it's just basically a step up in England isn't it from a big club to a bigger one so and I really like Sunderland I'd like a few more Sunderland players at the club Phil Bardsley <laughs> um, but uh, yeah Mignolet I don't think I can make my mind up about him yet I put Different from the other three signings I've talked about, I don't think I can make my mind up about Mignolet yet. Depends what happens between him and Reina. I think Mignolet should be second choice for a year. Second choice for a year, and then when Pepe leaves, he will be first choice. But there's one problem with that, and Mignolet's not going to be a happy bunny, that if he's sat on the bench for a year... He will remember that it's World Cup year next year, and if he's not playing for his club, he's not going to play for his country. So Mignolet's going to want to be playing. So it would have been, I think it would have been better off for everybody if Mignolet stayed at Sunderland for another year, Pepe stayed at Liverpool for another year, and Valdez stayed at Barca for another year. But plenty of game in it. So let me know your thoughts on Simon Mignolet. Um. Is he a good signing? Is he not? This until further notice, until there's any more signings, which hopefully there will be, I'm sure there will be. Um another two months in transfer window, then there's not gonna be another new signing episode. Hopefully on my next time I do this it will be for the Hitch of Lola, Papadopoulos or Sacco. So, uh, so th- I would like to I would like Liverpool to sign the other pl- three players. I'd like Liverpool to sign ideally if I could pick three are Mamadou Sakho, <laughs> Mamadou Sakho, um, Christian Paulson, and Henrik Mkhitaryan. So, yeah, let me know in the comments as well. Out of any three players, realistically, that Liverpool have been after, could be Eriksen, could be Ince, could be Alonso, could be. Anybody, Ben Alpha, this is just a few examples, then let me know in the comments out of all the players, which three players would you like to come to Liverpool in the three players. So, thanks. Like, subscribe and comment. LFC Number 25 channel is getting stronger and stronger by the minute, so I thank you all. Even if you're not commenting, that's, I've been getting a few more views. I think one of my videos has just hit 320 views. It's my most successful video yet. It's got a few comments too. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please, please like, subscribe and comment. Love you all. Ta.